Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and what more steps can you actually do with Windows 10 once everything's installed. So if you followed the different videos of the different steps that I gave, you've installed a fresh copy, you've updated everything, you have your favorite software installed, and you change a few of the privacy settings that I talked about maybe. The other thing that you should have handy, and I think that is something important because you never know, is a copy of Windows 10 on the USB stick or a USB thumb drive. The reason why is because it can happen that something prevents your PC from working. It could be a hard drive crash. It could be all sorts of things that prevents your PC from booting up. And if you're not booting up, you're not on the internet. You can't use the tools that Windows has to reinstall Windows. But you might just need to reinstall Windows. And one of the things that happens on some PCs is, for example, the hard drives cr uh, that, that can crash, which means that you have to change it, which also means you're losing your copy of Windows that was on it. And now you're with a PC that needs to have a new copy of Windows installed. So what do you do? Well, keep a copy on a USB thumb drive. You can download a copy and do it yourself by going to the web page that I'm going to share here. The link is in the description below. And what you'll do is you'll go down to download the uh, Create in Windows 10 installation media. You're going to download the media creation tool, that's called. Once it's downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to go here and you want to choose Create Installation Media USB Flash Drive DVD or ISO for another PC. So that's what you want to do. You're then going to click the Next button. Once you're going to click the Next button, it will choose the same version that you already have. So you don't have to you know, scratch your head what version you have. You already automatically have the same version that it chooses for you. So you'll click the Next button. And what you'll do is USB flash drive. That's what you're going to need. It says here, needs at least 8 gigabyte of space. So a 8 gigabyte or bigger a drive. And of course, dedicated that, that USB stick to only this. So, you know, use the smallest one that you can find that is at least 8 gigabytes. Make the uh, image, You do the USB flash drive. And don't use it for anything else. Keep it in a safe place. If something happens, you have something that you can use to actually reinstall Windows if your PC isn't booting up or connecting to the Internet anymore. So that will be a, a safeguard, if you want, for the future if something should happen. Maybe you'll never use it, but if you do need to use it, well, you'll have it. And maybe even if you use a tech guy because your PC is broken, tech guy comes over. Usually the tech guy has all the tools, but maybe the tech guy is going to be happy that you have that copy of Windows on the USB stick that he can use to install on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.